Hello, I'm Brent Kerluk with MMA News Canada. We're uh, sitting here after a great event, Axe Combat, for their uh, debut show in Calgary. Uh, sitting here with Steve Fader, the, pro, uh, the promoter of this event. Now, what, what do you want to say about your event? Uh, I just want to, I guess, say thanks to everybody that made this possible. Uh, I've been here since 4.30 in the morning, setting the ring up and setting up the chairs and everything for the event. So, uh, you know, if it weren't for the help of, of friends and family and, you know, the guys that... Uh, that I depend on to make sure that this this runs smoothly, it wouldn't happen. So. I also heard that the bringing in the ring wasn't so easy this time. <clears throat> no, we had to. Uh, the stampede parade was a little bit impeding. The guys had to hand bomb parts of the ring across the parade route this morning, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was good. A little unexpected. Yeah, it was. There was lots of unexpected bumps. So. And it always does, but uh, overall, uh, it was amazing. The the timing went quick. You had great introductions with the fighters. You had, you know, quick, you know, it wasn't boring fights. Uh, good matchmaking and uh, good overall show. Yeah, great fights. We kind of got started a little bit late, but there was a bit mix-up backstage with the uh, with the tape going missing. Apparently, fighters need more than three rolls of tape each nowadays. So, I don't know, 45 rolls of tape went missing, so... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so now um, with Calgary, uh, the other uh, competition, what do you want to say about uh, Hard Knocks and uh, with you, I don't know. with the competition? I think that the turnout that we had tonight pretty much speaks for itself. I don't consider them competition, to be honest. Well, uh, fair enough. Uh, there's definitely a night and day difference on the show and uh, the level of uh, quality. Great fights tonight, too. I mean, uh, I could not ask for a better card. These guys put on a show. Everybody came to, you know, work hard and entertain the fans, and that's what happened. It was good. Definitely. So where do we go from here? We go home, <laughs> and then we come back September 9th. Havoc, Acts 2, Tells Convention Center. Well, I talking to the other fighters, they're all really pumped about uh, really – you know, want to get on that card, right? So you got a lot of hype right now, um, and it only gets better from now, right? Yeah, absolutely. I could have re-signed 13 fighters tonight to the next fight, so it's good. It's good to have uh, a long list of fighters that are anxious to fight and, uh, you know, having the ability to replace fighters last minute and stuff like that with the laundry list of guys that I got is good. It's good. It's good for Calgary. It's good for the sport. It's good for Alberta. <laughs> I couldn't say that any better, for sure. She uh, Sheila Bird getting an opponent, not easy. What does she do? Come and finish that fight. Yeah, wow. That was good. You know, Kim, Kim's a gamer. Kim is uh, one of the most professional people, you know, just overall that I've ever met. She was very easy to deal with, and uh, for her to come in here and go up against Sheila Bird as a world-class world jiu-jitsu player, that was, uh, you know, that's a tough fight for, for Kim to take, and Sheila showed why, you know, she is ranked as high as she is in the world, so who's next? Anna Barone. <laughs> from Ontario, September 9th, maybe. So now, question. You promoter now, fighter, what's going on? I'm everything, man. Clothing company, promoter, <laughs> I'll fight again. I just don't know when. Well, I must say, I've never seen so much assassin wear everywhere tonight. Man, yeah, we sold lots of merch tonight. And, uh, you know, that's that's the uh, the most important thing is that we get the exposure for the brand and, you know, make sure we put on a, a good show for the fans and, you know, give the guys a good opportunity to uh, showcase their skills. Well, I'm looking forward to the next event, no doubt. And, uh, yeah, that's everything from MMA News Canada.